To finish off the balcony part, let's just add the roof planks or a placeholder for roof planks first. I'm going to select the lower box and solo that out by pressing Alt Q. And then I will go to polygon mode and select these polygons at the top. Again, I will go and hit detach, making sure detach as clone is checked, hit OK. Going back to hierarchy panel and centering the pivot to the object. Now I will select the newly created object and set the pivot to the center for that as well. And apply the shell modifier to this. I will go to the front viewport to set these sides as they should be going slightly outward from the structure. So going back to editable poly and hitting the vertex mode, we'll select these vertices and bring them slightly down. And similarly this one as well. I'm just trying to visually match it so they both are exactly at the same distance from each other. And then I will apply the shell modifier again or activate that going back to perspective viewport and give it slightly more outer amount. Now I'm thinking that my planks would have the height almost this much. So I will leave the outer mount to something like this and then I will unhide everything out. So to adjust the stuff here, I will select everything and then hold Alt and deselect these two objects and slightly move this upward. And now this actually starts making sense. So if I choose these objects again for the balcony part, I'll just bring them out again. And it looks really close to this one now. Uh, do play around with the sizes and proportion. If you feel that it's still not correct, it would just require some time to play around with that. For the railing or these wood pieces in front of the balcony, I would select this box, solo this out and make a duplicate of that. Hit OK. Again, solo this duplicate out. I will go to the edge mode and these two edges are selected by default. Press Ctrl Backspace to deselect that. Double click this edge, hold Ctrl, double click this one, Ctrl Backspace to remove these edges. And I will now unhide everything again. And I will just simply scale that down in all directions. So this will just give me one piece of this plank. And all I have to do is make copies of it. The sizing and the proportions, we can always set that since it's just a placeholder, we'll be replacing that with another one. So just looking into the reference image, it does not have that much height. The plank is slightly flattened. So we'll just make it slightly flattened and size it on the Y axis. I will scale it and press shift space to add a swift loop here and here and then go to the polygon mode and selecting these two polygons and I will hit extrude to extrude it out rather than just making other copies and hit OK. Now I see that it's not going through this portion but in fact it's somewhere here so this will also help us set the proportions and I will just take that in and maybe slightly lower than that. And I will now move this balcony part even lower and just take it out a bit. This one, I will just take that in again. Okay. And I think it's kind of fine for me at the moment. And now I will again just make another copy of it. Just scale that down. Bring that out and just trying to make that small object. I do not pay attention to the topology or the segments at the moment since I will be replacing it. These are just placeholder to fix my proportions. That is something I'm looking into. And I have actually fixed the proportion. So we're all set with everything here. I see it looks really nice. And the other adjustment, we can do that later when we'll be adding more details. Now, next, I'm going to add this small piece of antenna kind of structure on the top of this building.